The Jackbox Games Twitch stream. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> That's a crash. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, welcome to the Twitch show. As always, let us know how our sound is. Uh, how the how every, how everything is. We literally, <laughs> the second we started, got an error message <laughs> pop up on screen. So that's exciting. All right. We're really good. How do I... There's Ben. There we go. Yes, we're in another new room. We're going to move this every week. We, <laughs> we moved it three times this week that you guys didn't see. But here we are. Yeah. Next week we're going to be in a pot bellies. We're just going <laughs> to move from place to place. Perfect sound. Perfect sound. All Great. Right. What? They weren't talking about you, Arnie. Uh, oh. <laughs> nuts. Ah, so what's going on, everybody? Yes, in stereo. Yeah. I can subtly hear myself through uh, Evan's headphones on the, on the table. That's how you get perfect sound. Exactly. Headphones on the table. Someone asked, who's the pooch? <laughs> who's the pooch? That's a puppet. That's Ben. <laughs> that's actually me. <laughs> that's, that's Beatrix. Also known as BB. The head writer on our next game. That's right. What? <laughs> Oh, it's reverse stereo. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Reverse stereo. Oh, wow. oh. She's adorable. She's like something from Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> I think she looks, my wife thinks she looks like one of those little characters from uh, Spirited Away, the little dust balls. <laughs> she does. If people are keeping track of the points in the chat, someone has given <laughs> plus 10 points for Evan's sweater. That's what we should use our dry erase markers for, probably. All right. Uh, plus 10. Oh, this, this is a lot more work. Than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I had to use my arm. Perfect. I should just pretend to do it because you can't really see it on the stream anyway. Basically, what we're gonna do today, for the most part, is we're going to play the You Don't Know Jack Facebook game, uh, talk about some of the cool tech that went into the You Know Jack Facebook game, and we're going to play some of our favorite uh, commercials and sponsor videos and songs, and probably even just play the game as well. But also, we're gonna answer questions in the chat. And uh, probably near the end, as always, we'll play something from the Jackbox Party Pack so people at home can play along with us. But first, do we want to play this <laughs> prototype that Ben made, uh, like, what, a year ago, half a year ago? It's been a long time. We were, I think we do. We did a big, we did a big prototyping uh, event for a while, and we were just making whatever the hell we could come up with, and... I came up with the worst idea, and then I just made it, and then time one, and then we never played it. I played it. No, you didn't. Well, I shouldn't say I played it. I you turned started, it on. You started it up, and yeah. then it was really loud. It's <laughs> really no. loud. It's really loud. No. <laughs> Prepare for it to be loud. But, and also, yeah. this may look like a game that you know, but it's actually pronounced Simon. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look here. Are you gonna hide the? Are you gonna hide the URL and the room code? Because well, I didn't hide the URL, but I did hide the room code. That's good. So try every permutation of room codes. Yes. If you're really desperate to play Simon, this was really more of like an experiment. I just wanted to see if four people could play Simon. Well, we need we need all of us to play. Yeah. Okay. 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 Or else, as I learned today when I or yesterday when I was testing this, and I could only press the green button. Simon is very hard when you can only <laughs> press one button. If this doesn't work, I'm going to feel like a real Dumbo. Um, that didn't work. Uh-oh. Really? <laughs> what? This may immediately I not. I have to restart All right. it. All right. Hold on. I've seen that room cut up there for like a day. Oh. Is, that, is that bad? <laughs> not good. Now they're going to know that we're on a fire TV. Oh, because they see the remote? No, because they can see the screen. No, they, can't. they can't see the screen. Oh. You ruined it, Ben. Technology. Oh. All right. All right. Sure. So, again, as, as we're doing this, if we're keeping score, 10 points for Evan's sweater. I've been given 5 points for wearing pink. And someone also gave 15 points for Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> I got green. Uh, I'm having a hard time. Oh. It was, it was yellow, yellow, green. 
was the first one? Uh, we could start over. All right. What's our photo? <laughs> <laughs> Startling. Oh, boy. All right, I'm red. So uh, we, oh, I'm blue. We All each right. have a color. Wait, I, I'm not seeing anything. You can tell a game is good when you're exhausted <laughs> the second it begins. <laughs> so hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> and Allard's phone doesn't work. Oh, no. Oh, no. We <laughs> don't. We just relax. So one quirky thing about my dog, she hates laughter. <laughs> Too much blue. <laughs> I did. I didn't know. Nothing was happening. We're waiting, we're waiting for Allard still. It's I have that. Oh, yeah, work. that's not my work in here. Hold on. Beta duck. There were three reds and I'm red, so. All right. I'm, I'm getting off the Wi-Fi. Do we have yellow? No. Ah, no, crap. Don't so have. <laughs> But there are four of us, so how do we not have yellow? Because yeah, Allard's not going. Oh. It's not going. I can... It sucks. I do suck. This game should be called Get Angry oh, at Your go. Friends, says yeah, Dave Dave. <laughs> I think... I think <laughs> already done. I think everyone... Every one of our games should be called Get Angry at Your Friends. <laughs> five points to everyone with facial hair. That would be... Everybody oh, gets hey, five hey, points. Hey, we can play it out. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm on the red. Oh, you're yellow. Yeah. Probably the only thing more fun than playing multiplayer Simon is watching people play multiplayer Simon. Let's do it. <laughs> so if this game were $25, you guys would buy it, right? <laughs> we did it! Poor Arnie never gets to play. <laughs> yes! <laughs> nailed it! <laughs> we should just play this for, the, for a whole hour. <laughs> oh, I really just wait for, like, I want to go Arnie to get one. Yeah. And that's when we'll fail. Junior JRSA says this would be greenlit on Steam. Oh man, we're so good. <laughs> Plus one point every time the dog barks. Ah! Oh, oh my god. This is never. <laughs> it's never gonna be blue. I'm really tempted just to hit blue right now. No! <laughs> CDF12345 says. I would twitch, twitch stream the hell out of this. <laughs> the thing is, if you put in more than four players, it just repeats. So, like, you could have two people with green. I should say we're playing multiplayer tonight. Yeah, green. <laughs> Shut up. I would have to imagine that by the time you change it to saying we're playing multiplayer, Simon, we will be done playing. <laughs> I'm changing it. Ah, so. oh, forget it. I have to push red three times. <laughs> Let's see, someone in the chat says I'll give me 50 points if I throw the game by hitting blue. <laughs> no! 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 50 points to Arnie for... Uh... And then when I made a new game, it was like, I'm still not going to give him a thing. To I know. Alright, are we done with this? Let's, uh, yeah, we're done with Simon. <laughs> done with Simon. It was either Simon or WordSpud <laughs> for the party pack, and WordSpud won out. Simon was never considered for anything, no. <laughs> even for a second. This is just our early experiments with uh, uh, our, our uh, internet tool. Speaking of internet tools. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's over. Yeah. All right, now we're yeah, going to try be. interactive Candyland. <laughs> Multiplayer. <Huh? laughs> Candyland already is. Multiplayer. Speak and spell. Oh, man. I feel like I was the rescuer of that by getting us out of it. Okay. No, yeah, you ruined it. You son of a bitch. I'm sure if Jackbox made a fart sound, Simon, we would buy the hell out of it. That I is that's not true. a bad idea, Danny. Yeah. And you don't get colors. You have to guess based on the... the... And, of course, Krabby Dad likes that because Krabby Dad is... The fart sound. <laughs> exactly. Look how many sounds. Dave Daverton says, put Simon in the anti-party pack. 
You want everyone to, if you want everyone to leave your party immediately. I know it's not worthy engineering time, but if we put together a party pack of really just exceptionally annoying games for like a dollar, <laughs> force people to play them. It'd be great if we could somehow force people to play them. Yes, exactly. Uh, the Milton Bradley's going to be calling us uh, with an offer. Any day. <laughs> Any day. Or a lawsuit. Let's, uh, right. should we switch over? Let's check out the Facebook game. All right. The score, by the way, five points Allard, five points Ben, 15 points Evan, 60 points me, 15 points Gryffindor. I may have missed some. What, which, which Harry Potter house would you be in? I probably I think I took one of those internet tests and I was Gryffindor. I was Gryffindor too. Probably because of my bravery. Oh, we're That's all true. Hufflepuff and we know it. Yeah, yeah. My, wife, my, <laughs> wife, my, my wife is Hufflepuff and she cried when she found out. She was like, no! My wife, my wife was upset too, and so was my son. They were mad at me. Hey, remember when we won that I Heart Video Games Award? <laughs> yeah, that's all <laughs> <thought that. laughs> So, this game. Can we uh, maybe mute? The game sound while we talk about it, or at least make it pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I never <laughs> noticed that before. I remember when you put that in. This is my contribution to the you, game. No, it's because you <laughs> threw a fit about it because you wouldn't want to put it in. And so you called it lame mode. <laughs> you were like, we don't need to mute the game. Did I, I throw a fit? The I sound is it. the best part of it, and then you and then you put it in, but you had, had your little. Yeah, I guess that was my protest. <laughs> and now look how handy it is. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Every game should have a lame mode. <laughs> uh, uh, so, how should we begin to talk about the the design of the Facebook game? Well, start, start before uh, you we invented ghost mode. <laughs> well, so, there were, we did wanted we were looking at doing a, a real time play with people at the same time kind of mode. Yeah. Yeah, we were kind of playing around with other other games that are were successful on Facebook, like Family Feud. I know is one we looked at a lot. Millionaire. Uh, another one we were looking we at. We definitely yeah. played some of um, what was the drawing game? That uh, draw something. Draw something it was one that did a good job of everyone hopping into a lobby and playing at the same time. Minus ten points for Evan's passive aggression, but plus ten <laughs> points to whoever came up with lame mode. So, so that's a lot. So, that's a, that's so a, Evan is still <laughs> at fifteen points. <laughs> does, does Evan so, get the points for his sweater? Jisbin wants to see more of your body. Uh-oh. Yes. Evan is the new Tim, I guess. Uh, oh god. I've always been second place to Tim. We're all second place to Tim. <laughs> Minus one point for every one hundred dollars in booty Evan has. Well that puts me in the red a little bit, I'm afraid. <laughs> Twenty two thousand. Um, one of my favorite parts of when we were when we were looking at these games, uh they were at least they appeared to be multiplayer games. So you'd go into Family Feud and it looked like you were playing against other actual people. And we kind of got skeptical at one point where we were like, I don't, are these actual people or are they just faking this? And we'd go into chat because no one would chat in the games. And we'd go in and be like, you know, hey, whatever. And we'd like try to... <laughs> Do you remember when Ivan went on? He was the uh, producer at the time at uh, Jackbox Games. And, uh, actually it's worth right mentioning, now. yeah, Ivan is uh, Ivan. one of the... Ghost players in this. Uh, oh, game. okay. And he uh, <laughs> he went on there and he was like, "What it do?" <laughs> <laughs> what it do? What That's where it came from. Yeah, That's that became it... a catchphrase at yeah. Jackbox for yeah. probably two years. What it do? What it do? <laughs> Are you a bot? Yeah. And it turns out they were at least a couple Some of them were real, real people. people yeah. Uh, so. And so I, we're, we're kind of doing exactly what Ben not, said not to do and talking about um, how we made this game multiplayer. But that's kind of uh, the most interesting thing about it. That's what I meant thing to say. About it. talk about it before it, you became yeah. Ghost, right. and then you talk about the revelation that well, is Ghost the, the, the revelation was is that we thought people would have more fun playing against friends versus strangers. So we thought, well, how do we get people to actually play against their friends because it's not like they're going to all like congregate at work or whatnot so we thought maybe we could play friends post facto so we would record friends the friends scores and it would almost be like you were playing along with them but you know time slipped if that makes sense yeah and my favorite part of this argument which i told arnie before <laughs> was that like this argument went on for weeks and weeks of whether we should do like live multiplayer 
or single player with at, you know recording other people's games and playing them back. And I, I wanted to do single player, like partly because the, it was a technical nightmare to try to get multiplayer to work and also like make sure people are online at the same time and actually have opponents. And I, I lost the argument and and it was like, all right, well, I guess we're going to do multiplayer. And then I went away on vacation for a couple of weeks and came back. And all of a sudden, we were doing ghost play. We were, we were doing single player again. And I realized that I just can't actually argue for anything I want. I see either need to put it in or leave and then let it magically happen. That's not the first big decision we've made with you on vacation. No, a lot of most things happen with me on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I wrote, I wrote the right first here. version of Blogcast when you were on vacation. That's true. Yeah, I, I rarely work, so it makes it easy. <laughs> I actually was gone when this decision was made too, because my wife and I took I took a little sabbatical to go work on a cruise ship, uh, and before I left, people were just first talking about doing ghost play or asynchronous play. And I remember thinking that it sounded like a horrible idea mm-hmm. and was really pleasantly surprised at how well it works. Like, it's the best way to play against your friends because how often are you able to actually get your friends to hop onto Facebook at the same time and play a game together? Uh, but with this, it's just that people have played before. It stores their gameplay, and it really is very convincing. You feel like you're playing against them. Maybe we should actually play so, an episode. Yeah, let's let's give it a try. I'll shut off Wayne mode. Is this you? Is this your account? Yes. So we'll be playing against Evan's friends? Uh, yeah, well, Luke and Ivan. Who <laughs> of course, if your friends haven't played it already... Oh, let's look at the sponsor. I think the Facebook version has the best, has the best sponsors in anything. Yeah, I love the sponsors. Yeah, we'll go through and look at some of the sponsors. We can talk about those. We haven't read the chat. That's right. First on the docket. It looks like I just got hella points, but I can't even decipher that. I think if someone mentions a commercial from V1, they get like 1999. I saw that earlier. So, health, health food store. Uh, so we put a couple of things in this. We, we put in these. Uh, uh, we so. This is kind of, we're, we're trying to find ways to make money off of this. I, when, you, when, when you put a, That's the biggest problem. Yeah, when you put a game up on Facebook, uh, it, it's free, and you know you got ads. So we have ads in the game, and then you know people sell items, and we're trying to think of what we could sell. And our first, at first, we had all these enhancers, right? Yeah. And we kind of got it down to four. In hindsight, maybe we should have gotten it down to one. Do we have the, uh, the uh, chicken? Yeah. Do we have the chicken and the... Yeah. And the idea was that you... Oh, never mind. Make things easier for yourself so you could beat your friends. You know, it's essentially like paid, cheat, paid cheating. Yeah. Which kind of sucks, and it was also a big argument. Like, if you care about your score, this is <laughs> making your score kind of irrelevant. And then we had this other thing to buy that we added in later. Which I like that. Yeah, the remove the choice. Yeah, it, it's a. I like I like the little animation. That used to be a bigger explosion. Yeah, we had to we knocked it down. That's the right answer here. I feel like on the first pass, we always super animate everything and then we have to like, yeah, we're not pull back. It's like, it doesn't work on this browser. We don't actually know the Windows. answers to almost any of the questions. Candy heart it's true. Fit longer messages on it. like, hey, you don't know me. Another thing we wanted to do with this version was have uh, more topical content and since we're releasing new questions, new episodes every week. I think we're doing two a week originally. Or three a week. Three a week. Yeah, the amount of content we're pushing out is and you just slipped and Yeah, uh, later in the stream we'll have uh, Steve O, our uh, head, the director and head lead editor of You Know Jack, come in and talk a little bit about the content. I'll say that when I came in, I came in right when this game was getting moved forward. Click like here or press one. Thing we were if it's on. wipe out, and I click here was put in charge two. of the iOS Ready? version Let's of go. it. And this was probably one of the hardest ports I've ever done. Oh, really? Yeah. Like this. Someone mentioned uh, YDKJ on Facebook for a proposal for the couple who met at the, on their way to a steampunk. There's an extended uh, version of, of that video 
where they make out for like what is like two minutes of real time. They just sit there kissing for like a really uncomfortable long time and didn't stop the video and didn't edit the video before they sent it to us. Yeah, we, so just, we, we cut just, that down a bit. It's just two minutes of them making out. And, we're just, and I watched every minute. <laughs> over and over. Yeah. Yeah. This was one of my favorite things, was the uh, seeing the right and wrong dots appear. Yeah. I thought that was really yeah. fun. Kind of makes the diss or dat interesting. And, and oddly, this is kind of my favorite version of the diss or dat. The mo yeah. like, because in all the console games... You, only one person plays, or even the old PC game, and this is this is the only dis or dat where everyone plays and everyone experiences it the way it was supposed to be. And it's a simple shorthand for seeing like who got what without being too overbearing. You know, I read somewhere that cookies are supposed to be good for your teeth, or maybe it was that they were terrible for your teeth. I have completely stopped keeping track of our points in the chat. I apologize. We'll just assume <laughs> yeah. that I've won. If some maybe someone in chat could keep right. track yeah. of points and just kind of keep us updated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Keep us updated on who's winning. We're starting now. Okay. <laughs> just tell me. We're starting over right now. Which is the only one marching to its own tune? If someone gives me a million points, then I will give you a free copy of the alphabet song. What? Okay. Just use the clock again. You don't need your coins. It's true. I have a lot of coins. And I could give myself more. <laughs> Uh, I gave my, my brother-in-law a million coins, and he spent them all. And I don't know. Really? Oh, I didn't I'm answer. I don't even know. Things for a while we had ways to spend them all. Song. All. Song. all have more or less the same tune. Mary I think... Lamb is the only one here marching to its own unique tune. I think we generally kind of refuse to be overly dickish about our, our freemium models, so we maybe didn't uh, encourage people to spend as much of their tokens as they could. We, were, we, we, we had all these meetings about like the things that we couldn't do to make that was just too evil, and unfortunately you can't have that mindset if you're Step a right up to the yeah. Or a Facebook. The <laughs> Southern Development <laughs> Social Games, you can't do that. Yeah. You have to be a little bit yeah. I'm really excited. I, I, I think we've said this, but like the games we're doing now really feel, I mean, I think we all kind of feel that they're the best fit for our company. Well, we can uh, actually make money off it. Yeah, we can make money <laughs> off it. We're not kind of chasing some model that worked for someone else. It's like kind of our own thing. I don't feel as evil yeah. as I used to. It's hard to make money on Kenny P. finite content. Which I miss. I miss being Yeah. Evil. Yeah. Well, I mean, you but did there's... make Simon. But I, you know, as someone who, like a second you had fun. as someone who is never a huge lover of Facebook games in general, I, I think there's a lot to really love about the you know Jack Facebook game that we People made. People say that it's like their favorite. Facebook it game. looks awesome. You know, I haven't looked at this in about a year. <laughs> um, the art design is the great. Right. If I do say so myself, yeah, it allowed us to do a lot more topical stuff than we usually would. But there's a we had a team of people. We had Jody Evenson working on this, so Tim Snippen. Yeah. The mobile version is a completely separate UI too. The mobile version is completely separate. Yeah. Also, I do really like in the Jack Attack how it sh it's just fun to see people's your Facebook friends' profile faces appear, yeah. Yeah. which is another big point. That we're like, well, how can we work on it as much as possible? Nice to get faces are like some sort of photo upload into their future party packs just because it's so fun to see people's faces yeah. right in the middle in the 90s, I so, the music CD right where I want to be the celebrity episodes in here it was a fusion of Grant. Yeah. And smooth jazz yeah let's take a look at the celebrity episode wait till you see some of the celebrities this week it was huge in some <laughs> we should have Steve over here today yeah, yeah we should uh, Tim Leftwich really enjoyed uh, the celebrity episodes, and also Tim, I uh, Tim interviewed me on his YouTube channel, so definitely go check that out. I think it's called Tim Talks. That's how you can tell it's a very good channel. Exactly, you should know better than interview me. Uh, we we had so much social stuff in this game that I don't think anyone used. And actually, there's a uh, Farad. Hey, Farad's up. He also helped out. He did uh, a lot of work on the uh, this or that for us. Hi, Farad. Oh, invite your, your friends. Oh, no, there's Ken. So, what happens if you are the first person to play? So, so the people that have played the game before you are, are pop populate who you're playing against. But if you're the first person to play the game, what happens? 
I think it picks random people who have played You Don't Know Jack, and it appears like they're playing, but they don't do anything. Yeah. Uh, but what it's we, a lie. I mean, <laughs> it's a lie. but we we generally like at least Jackbox games would play before the episodes were released, so no one out in the world should ever have seen that except for us. So you, yeah. So you first, would it would, so first, it'd be your friends if they're there, and if not, it would be anyone that had played who would. Oh, that's right. Probably be us. And the gibberish question too. Yep. Thanks for. Uh, oh, the gibberish question. That's one yeah. of my favorite uh, yeah. little things that people. A lot of people didn't really figure out was that if you put in a wrong answer in the Jibber's question, it would appear you would see other people's answers they'd put in. So I would just leave messages to other people. I would intentionally put it in wrong, like just say things so it would pop up in people's. Uh... Yeah, that's right. Poopsie and mayonnaise. Are mayonnaise and poopsie based on any of the staff's cats, or are they just stock photos? They are actual staff cats. You've never seen them. There they are. There they are. Around. Yeah, we did a. I did an all call for all of Jelly Vision one day. Uh, be like, send me your pictures of your cats, and we had sort of a a cat off, and uh, came down to those two cats. I'll say awesome. the 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 sexual tension between Maria Bamper and Cookie was really. <laughs> You know, sometimes we get complaints on our Facebook page uh, about people being like, "Who are these celebrities?" Uh, you know, obviously there's only a certain level of celebrities we could get, but as like a comedy nerd, I'm a huge fan of a lot of the people that we had as guests. Mm-hmm. Uh, Julie Klausner, her podcast is awesome. Maria Bamford, if you've never seen her stand-up comedy, is really funny. Paul F. Tompkins and Bob Odenkirk are two of my favorite comedians of all time. Both involved in Mr. Show, like the greatest sketch comedy show of all time. Who did we have to do a longer episode version of? I think that was Andy Kindler. Yeah, we had, like the, the the long cut of that episode is like it's hilarious. Like you could sell that on iTunes and so forth. It's really funny. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more talking in those episodes. Some people got annoyed by how long it would take to get to the questions. <laughs> JVG Zuba says Easter egg. Hit Control F1 on the browser version of You Don't Know Jack Facebook to make it go full screen. Let's do it. Oh, it's no. going to mess up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Zuba. <laughs> Terrible idea. Uh, Dave Daverton says, you got Jennifer Hale, mad props. Yeah. And all of these are still up on the Facebook page. So if you haven't played these yet, yeah. definitely yeah. go and play. And I would recommend doing it sooner rather than later. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. A lot of people, who are, like, <laughs> what he said. they'll say, like, what's, I love You Don't Know Jack. And they'll be like, there's a Facebook version. And they'll be like, what? How do you not know that? It's free and in front of your face. Yeah. So, like a lot of Facebook and mobile games, this had a big audience for a brief period of time and then people moved on to other things. Uh, like Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone. There's hours and hours of fun to be had. There is. How many episodes did we end up with? Good There's over a lot of content. Over here. Yeah. Uh, over speaking several. of poopsie and mayonnaise, I don't know if this is the kind of inside detail that people care about at all, uh, but I came up with the names for poopsie and mayonnaise. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. <laughs> I was taking a dump, <laughs> eating <laughs> eating mayonnaise. <laughs> like he, like he usually and I was does. like, hold on, what if there was cats? <laughs> uh, 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 basically, uh, this is... I just realized, have you ever started a story and realized you didn't want to finish it? Shut <laughs> <laughs> up. Uh, She's laughing. My wife loves the show Meerkat Manor, and they have really ridiculous names for the meerkats on the shows. Uh, and so I was making fun of the names, and I started calling meerkats Poopsie and Mayonnaise. And that sort of segued into my wife and I calling each other Poopsie and Mayonnaise. <laughs> As a joke uh, on like uh, really gross like pet names for each other, uh-huh. although I don't think we, it was ever clear who, which one of us was poopsie and which one of us was mayonnaise. <laughs> it's interchangeable. And then when it was time, well, then when the, it sort of we decided to have Cookie have cats and they had to have names, I decided to name them Poopsie and Mayonnaise, sort of as, as a shout out to my wife. I like to put way too many just references to myself <laughs> and people I know in the game. You guys, I'm buying all sorts of answers. So I, this was kind of funny. When we were first coming out with this, we were like, why don't we make something that is just you give money and you, there's no reason for it. Like, and no one's going to do it because why would they just give us money for no reason? So the game had an achievement, so we had an achievement that you could only get by buying it. And you know, now it's coins, but it used to cost real money. <laughs> 
and do, do we have any kind it. of metric of how many people bought the buy this achievement achievement? <laughs> like I'm sure we do, and we, we should look, we should have looked it up for this. Put that. We'll make notes for uh, next time. But that's enough people that it was, you know, it was pizza money. <laughs> Uh, do we want to look at some of the sponsors? I wonder, should we maybe, let's get Steve on here, even though it's like, oppressively hot. Oh, you don't have to leave. There's another, there's another one more Sorry, I am not here to make friends. I am here to make What is that? Oh, yeah. I loved the achievement icons. I think they were a lot of fun. Oh, yes, the butthead. Farad says he bought the achievement. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Farad. <clears throat> you could have probably asked for it. to know we which cat you. were you, Poopsie or Man. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> great here. I know, it really yeah. does. Uh, is, that, is that dog? <laughs> <laughs> that is no. one of the odors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say dog is probably one of the more pleasant odors. <laughs> Uh, we talked a little bit about the about the celebrity episodes, but it might be worth talking about the process because it's pretty interesting. Of, oh, the celebrity, the celebrity episodes? episodes. And yeah. people in the chat are very excited about some of the celebrities we had, uh, although clearly they had not played any of them. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Sounds well, right. Uh, yeah. So we just um, you know we we got on uh, we got you know our marketing guy was like uh, out there with feelers trying to get as many celebrities as he could and. Uh, we got some pretty big ones, and um, so basically we would uh, schedule a time with them, and we would just try to get it, you know, all all done within like an hour of their time, and we would do it via Skype. And um, wait, where's the cameras? Is it this one or this one? It's that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> one Although we one. never were looking at it, we're always just. Uh, we would do it via Skype, and um, usually it was just an audio call because, you know, there was really no reason to capture their video. But Maria Bamford actually, she was like. She was like the one that was like most on, she was like on time, uh-huh. and it, well, she had video going, and she was just like ready to go, and she was awesome. Uh, I actually caught, captured a lot of video. Uh-huh. Uh, I wouldn't play without her permission. Uh, but yeah, so we would have a whole, you know, hour-long conversation, capture the audio, and um, a lot of it was, you know, unscripted. It was just, you know, having them respond. Yeah, true places with me. Yeah. But, right. Everyone switch yes, places. Everybody yeah. switch. We, we wanted to do something where you know we didn't we did we gave them a little bit of an idea of what was coming, but we didn't like yeah. write a script for them. Yeah, we wanted to be feel natural. So uh, so we gave them sort of an outline of a script, and I get, I always sent it to them like five minutes before the meeting because I didn't want them to think about it too much. Yeah, I wanted them to feel like I was giving a little you know they want to have some idea, but not like you know prepping answers. So that's what we did. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I felt like with the first one or two, we tried to script a little bit more of responses for them if they wanted them. And we quickly learned that they were pretty good. The guests, as long as we queued them up with something that gave them options of things to make jokes about. Right. As long as we like set the table for them in a way where it's like, they can, they're funny enough to make a good response to this. Right. And then you got, you know, as you're doing the thing, you're kind of listening and thinking, is this going to work? Is this not going to work? And then if it's not going to work, then you say, hey, could you try a different answer to that? I mean, uh, you just kind of have to do it that way. Can you just try, let's try that question again. I'll ask you as if I never asked you before. And then, then they would give another response. Did you have a favorite sponsor episode? Sponsor episode? Or, or I'm sorry, a favorite uh, celebrity episode? Yes. Yes. Without a doubt, it was Bob Odenkirk. Uh, well, there were two. Bob Odenkirk was... I mean, all of us on the call, which was Andy, the audio, our audio guy, and Tom, the uh, cookie. Uh, it was it was basically usually the, us three that were on the call, and it was. I mean, we were just doing our best not to laugh over the audio, of you know, the recorded audio because he was just he was going off on tangents and it was hilarious and it was, it was what you would expect from Bob Odenkirk. Um, so, Oh, yeah, go ahead. Someone asked uh, if the celebrities actually played the game or if they just answered the questions. Some of them did. We told them, uh, we gave them the game to play ahead of time so that they would know what the questions were and we wanted to record their actual score. Uh-huh. So we got their score recorded and then we would add in the audio over top of, the, of their, their game later. 
So yeah, they did. They did play it. Um, in most cases, they did. Some of them didn't, and we said we're going to play for you. Is that okay? And then we didn't hear from them, so we just didn't. <laughs> so yeah, the um, idea was that just like the asynchronous play against your friends, we thought it was really cool that it's like not only am I listening to an episode where Maria Bamford talks during the game, you're actually playing against Maria Bamford's score, and. For most of them, that's actually the case. There's only a couple that we had to fudge it. Yeah, right. yeah. So most of it is actually their score. You know, one time, I, one of the I, I can't remember who it was. Might have been Rich, the first guy that we did. Rich, Rich Summer Rich from Summer. Mad Men. Somebody got too high of a score. We were like, <laughs> we're like, no, we guys, we want, we want the players to have a chance to beat you. <laughs> so, so we had to like kind of fudge them down a little bit. Uh huh. Or I asked him to play it again and like miss miss yeah. one question. <laughs> <laughs> we just lowered it by that much. <laughs> Uh, without spending too much time on it, uh, a lot of people are asking about Outsmart in the chat. And I know Outsmart has uh, sort of uh, relevant to kind of how we did the special yeah. guest stuff. Outsmart was hosted by the one and only Tim Sniffen back in the day. But that was, a, that was actually a work for hire that we did with uh, Microsoft. They hired us to uh, create a little game show where you would play against celebrities. And it wasn't really the same type of tech. It was... A little bit off, but anyway, that was a fun game. Uh, someone asked if it's archived. I'm guessing there's really nowhere you can go to uh, play the old Outsmart. I don't know, episode. unless it's like on. Uh, it's not playable anywhere. It's not playable. I'm, I'm wondering if it's on YouTube or something. But. The other, I want to quickly though. The other person that I loved on the celebrity episodes of You Don't Know Jack was Andy Kindler. Yeah. I mean, because he just he required almost no prompting whatsoever. He just went off on. 30 second or longer uh -huh. spiels of just like he was doing his own comedy, comedy yeah. routine. He was totally into it. He was all, he was all in and that's what made it great. So we actually had to end up doing two episodes. I don't uh -huh. know if you mentioned that. Yeah. We had to do the Andy Kindler like actual one and then we had to do the extended version because uh -huh. we didn't want to leave all the stuff out so we made like a director's cut of the Andy Kindler. Are we, uh, we're sort of seeing if I'm we can find like, out looking like the jackhead. Is this the actual... <laughs> should we put this up just to see? Sure. Uh, that's this one. How's that? Yes. I've now been replaced with a wasteland of sweatpants, capris, and worse It's weird, because we got our monitors over here. I know, it's, there's a lot of... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're looking distracted. For just pennies a day. Less than the price of a cup of coffee. Uh, the game you're trying to play is no longer available. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh, how it uh, says farewell. Yeah. Farewell. Sad. Uh, let's look at some of the sponsors, which is a lot of people's favorite thing about the Facebook game. All right. Do you have a favorite sponsor, uh, Stephen? Oh, gosh. Uh, there's so many good ones. Go scroll down. I, I always loved <laughs> I like Glug, Glug Light. Glug Light is great. Glug Light's great. Glug Light beer. Glug Light. I that stock. <laughs> <laughs> the audio commercial is great, though. Yeah, 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 play the audio commercial. Glug Light is a beer that you can buy and that you can also drink. Grilling meat with hot chicks. Cargo shorts. This is Glug Light. It's made with only the right beer ingredients, so it tastes like beer every time. Let's shoot a moose cage fight. That one game where you throw bean bags. It comes in cans that you tilt to pour the beer right into your mouth. Starting wars, <laughs> urinals, hugging dudes, scratch your balls, watching porn, yeah, yeah, yeah. drinking beer, other stuff that guys do. Glug Light Beer. Glug Light. Uh, there are some quick questions. Um, can you scroll up just a second? There was one that was... I know, Evan, you're, there's like a billion different... Uh, Dave asked, does Cookie Tom record from home when he hosts? Or do you guys have a studio here? We do have a recording studio here, but Tom records from home. And we actually did a Twitch stream with Tom, the voice of Cookie, which you can check out at our YouTube page, one of the old episodes. Uh, if you look up Jackbox Games on YouTube, we did a whole hour with Cookie where he answered a bunch of questions and talks about how he records the game. It's really fun. Right. And you get to see his face. Yes. <laughs> so when we did the uh, celebrity episodes, Tom was in New York, uh -huh. and Andy was in Michigan, and I was in Chicago, and then the celebrity was probably in L.A. <laughs> and we were all on Skype, um, except for with Jonathan Katz, who... Um, 
I, I think maybe didn't own a computer. <laughs> so we did it by telephone. <laughs> and he was in the lobby of a hotel. And you kept hearing things like dogs, which was weird. Yeah. Uh, I was going to point out, in, in the warehouse supply warehouse commercial, there's kind of a little Easter egg. Oh, yeah. Which is, uh, there's one shot. It's all stock photos except for one shot of two people sitting on chairs in a street. That one there. <laughs> and that was actually from uh, a uh, April, Fool's, April prank. Fool's prank on Andy who telecommutes. And we had, instead of his camera looking in, in the office where it normally looks, it was looking across the street. <laughs> and we had set up a little desk out there. Yeah. Uh, so we have a long tradition on, on April Fool's putting Andy's camera in different weird places. Like, I don't, where are some of the places that the in camera... In the bathroom, in the fridge. Uh, <laughs> once I put a video of a uh, colonoscopy in front of his camera so he looked like he was in an anus. <laughs> so that year we were like, what if we set up a fake, a, part, a fake office and we had some of us sitting at desks across the street... But it turned into a reverse prank because it was such a long thing to set up. <laughs> and, then, just... and then you were in the street. Yeah. yeah. I, was, <laughs> I was sitting in the street. Yeah. For Allard six was, hours. Yeah. Allard was across the street for a really long time. And then we were just like, what if we just turn this prank into how long will Allard sit across the street? <laughs> I was quite happy there. Yeah, it was a long time. Zuba asked if we had the old Glug Light video anywhere, which was hilarious. It was, uh, who, who was it? Was it Spencer or was it? Oh, it was several people. Including Zuba, I think. And it was like Zuba's first day here. It was like, he had just started. And we're like, we need to shoot video of you falling down. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and he did a pretty intense fall. Um, and it was just videos of everyone who works at Jackbox <laughs> falling down, edited together. Right, but it right. didn't make the cut. Uh, we should try to dig that up. Someone asks, whose idea was Carpet the Musical? That's definitely one of my favorites. Oh, I love that one. Oh, that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, carpet yeah. the musical. I... Carpet, carpet, monkey, 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 monkey. <laughs> Definitely Innes. the creepiest. <laughs> That's Dave Innes' wife's mouth. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the, we did the whole thirty-second commercial. But I got a bunch of people from the office, and we went and we actually. I said, "Who can sing?" So we actually got, and not everyone could, but they they came in anyway. And uh, yeah, but I, I one of my things I always put on my. Facebook page or any of my profiles is my, my likes. I always, uh. I always put carpet. <laughs> carpet is one of my likes, so I just like to do a carpet the musical. And Andy made some great music for it. Should we listen to the... Uh, yeah, let's hear the full thing. From the team that brought you the Broadway musical's paper and plain crackers comes the most anticipated Broadway musical of the year, Carpet! 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 Monkey Monkey! With book and lyrics by Ricardo Conquisto and music by the legendary Gertrude Schmidt, Carpet is a bedazzling spectacle. Roll it, 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 roll it. Experience the highs and lows of Carpet as you take an emotional journey until the day I die. Don't miss your opportunity to catch Carpet on Broadway before it's too late. Call for your tickets today. Carpet! Dogs love Carpet the Musical. <laughs> it's just sort of an example of the fact that like, we do a lot of work that maybe no one ever notices or sees. There's also all these, if you look over here like on the very edge... These long, like, kind of funny explanations of all the sponsors. Oh. Again, who knows how many people have ever read them, but they're, they're all pretty funny if you have time to go back through them. Right. Right. Um, yeah. These are, two, I think, two of my favorite jingles back-to-back -back here. Flavonase and American Council for Slacks. Okay. Flavonase! Flavored mayonnaise! <laughs> <laughs> and, and this one's just the best. The American Council for Slacks! <laughs> There's a couple of things going on. What well, one is that was the first that was our sample commercial, right. and so the developers heard that a million times because it was the only one we had for a long time. The other thing is I think there's like a little pea stain oh, on the there? slacks if you look <laughs> carefully. Oh, genius. The American oh. Council of oh. Slacks. <laughs> Like, I'm a girl, I don't know if that's where 
argue with you. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Uh, should we see the Evan Jacover one? I know that's a f- that's favorite. That's oh, the next one. Ooh, anyone. I'm Evan Jacover, best friend for hire. Hey, what you doing later? <laughs> <laughs> I was just happy to be animated yes. for the first time in my life. Oh, good. Job. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we hear the whole thing? I just love. Uh, I mean, I wrote this one, but it's mostly just funny for Evan's delivery of all the lines. Ring, 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 ring. Hi, Evan Jacover, best friend for hire. What's that? You need a best friend for the weekend? Well, I'm Evan Jacover, and I'm just the man for the job. Don't have any friends? Have friends, but none that are the best? Have a best friend, but would like to try out having a new one? Then call me, Evan Jacover, best friend for hire. Yay! I'll go to a ball game with you. I'll help you move. I'll hug you. I'll not hug you if you don't like that sort of thing. I'll try to break up that fight you're in, and if I can't i'll help you fight i'm evan jacover best friend for hire i'll throw you a surprise party i'll take that class with you at the learning annex even though making crafts isn't really my thing i'll remember your parents names i'll get drunk with you every year on the anniversary of that weird event from our childhood that we never really recovered from i'm evan jacover and if you need a best friend i'm the best best friend for hire (laughs) yeah i never actually read the the text (laughs) <laughs> Count me among the people who never reads. <laughs> when we we were talking about extending past twenty five, I was pitching. Uh, I was like sequels of things, maybe too much. I was pitching doing Evan Jacover Ninja for Hire, <laughs> like, like almost exactly the same, except you're trying to sell yourself as this friendly ninja or assassin for hire. I need a writer for my regular life. <laughs> whiny wine is when I discovered the power of stock video. <laughs> whiny wine, whiny wine, wine is just for kids. So what are they actually excited about? <laughs> uh, there's cupcakes in there. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the STD Superstore is great. STD Superstore, parking in the rear. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw a sign on the street the other day that said parking in the rear. <laughs> rear Reminded entry me. permitted. Yeah. <laughs> Did you notice the shape of that building? Yes, yeah, of course. Like, How could you? Tim, Simi, and Chip Mechanic. That's a great song. Just yeah, song, that yeah. is a great song. Tim, Simi, and Chip Mechanic. Good stuff. Yeah. Here's yeah. a great exchange. Krabby Dad, how many sound effects are in the Boner commercial? None. I just mic'd my pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh. This was <laughs> quite... Tampa Bay, sex free, dolphin encounters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that commercial's... Arnie wrote that one. Someone's pointed out to me that if there's ever a commercial about having sex with animals, Arnie probably <laughs> wrote it. I wrote the uh, Animal Lovers uh, Boutique as well. I wrote the commercial and the sponsor for the uh, Tampa Bay Sex Free uh, Dolphin, Dolphin Encounters Cannon. because I was, as I mentioned before, I was uh, working on a cruise ship at the time. We would port in Tampa. And when you're on a cruise ship, like there's you can't, like it was kind of hard to write because there wasn't much input besides just cruise ship things, and so I was just sitting, being like, "I got to write a commercial." And I looked up and there was a just a really crappy mural of a dolphin, and I was like, I "Guess I'm gonna write something about dolphins." <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, dolphins will try to have sex with you. It's something that I'd heard from multiple people. <laughs> uh, I love the raise the roof arm dance studio for the, just the oh, yeah, awesome. just the design of it and the sound. It's really funny. Raise the roof on that studio. <laughs> I feel like it's almost exactly like graphics you would see on like a VH1 or Bravo show. It looks yes. almost exactly like that. I like the library. My sister in law is a librarian, so I sent her this before it came out. The library! Yeah, we, there was a couple of controversial uh, graphics 
in some of these. We've replaced some, but I won't go into that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As Carr was replaced. Yes, yes. Let's play that one. The Church of Asquar, the eternal bleeding jackal skull. It's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> uh, uh, they love trivia, though, so that's you know that's why they sponsored the episode. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see if we're missing anything good from the chat. So we had one person ask if. Uh, uh, I saw Arnie tweet about an Easter egg in Drawful that blows minds. Care to fill us in on what it is? I oh, think that's maybe... the one where the people's their own name. Yeah, uh, without give, I mean, it's, oh, it's worth no. It. It's worth it. Might as well give it away because there's uh, there's a lot of stuff in Drawful, but there are a couple, a very small number of prompts that will take one of the players' names. Uh, you know, you put in your name for, you know, it's like Arnie. So a prompt might literally just be one of your names or one of your names with something written before it or after it so that people would 100% not think that was the correct answer and then their minds are blown when it is the prompt. Uh, and it's fun for us because we get to see people playing on Twitch and so we get to watch Let's Plays and things like that. So some of the more high-visibility Twitch players have had it happen to them and it's really funny to be able to see that moment of complete shock on people's faces, uh, it's just a fun, it's just a treat that we get to see that stuff. Because usually we have all these Easter eggs that occasionally people will tell us they've found, um, but we don't get to see it. Are there any Easter eggy things in the Facebook game? It's it maybe kind of tough. Well, Andy wanted us to play the full Autumn Dust commercial. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's do awesome. that. Hi, I'm Old Man, and if you're like me, you can suffer from that occasional not-so-fresh feeling. When that happens, I reach for a bottle of Autumn Dusk Feminine Spray. Now, I don't know what's in this stuff, but just a few short squirts between my saddlebags and I feel cleaner and fresher, both inside and out. I also find that it works miracles on my skin tags, liver spots, and the frequent flare-ups of my milk leg. And it smells like ladies. So, the next time you're feeling swelled up and scratchy, hose yourself down with some Autumn Dusk Feminine Spray. It's like a splash of sunshine up your meat blankets. <laughs> uh, skin tag. Maybe we should just do an entire old man game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I think actually, at one point, we were talking about You Don't Know Jack Volume 6 or something. Or I was just like, let's just set it in their retirement home. Re retire the series and, call, and have it hosted by old man <laughs> uh, yes the answering question is in the chat yes we have seen the Achievement Hunters Drawful Let's Play it's fun we love it whenever Achievement Hunters plays our games it's huge yeah. yes. um, and they seem to enjoy <laughs> playing them Crabby Dad's like, I saw that Andy <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was your response 10 years ago too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you wouldn't be able to talk Right. <laughs> uh, is there anything else? Any like fun little things from the Facebook version that we should point out before? Maybe quick letting people in the chat play something before we get out of this hot box. Here, <laughs> 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 uh, Zuba has one. Let's see if Control F12. We'll oh, look at that! Hey, Control oh. F12. You can see the frame rate, guys. Yeah, <laughs> really, really excited. <laughs> look up in the top left-hand corner. You can see <laughs> really exciting stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, it, you know, like 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 Arnie said, get on there. If you haven't played it, get on there, play it. Try to open up all the sponsors, and uh, you know. Yeah, every sponsor has its own video and its own commercial and its own little like writing thing. And like with everything, we packed a lot of weird little jokes into every little like sub menu, so it's worth kind of just clicking around. Right. And did you mention there's a gibberish question? No, we didn't. So anybody who remembers the gibberish questions from the old games, they're, you know, we could never really do them on the previous versions of You Don't Know Jack because your controller didn't have a keyboard and we didn't want to bring up a messy on-screen keyboard. So um, so for the, uh, this version of the game, the phone version of the game, you can, there's the gibberish questions. Yeah. Since there's a keyboard. If you guys want to do Let's Plays on this too, now's a good time. Yeah. I would say exactly. I would I would play sooner rather than later. <laughs> yeah. Record yourself playing this historical artifact. Exactly. 
Uh, let's, Before it's an artifact. Let's uh, maybe move over to the party pack. Let's move into the present. Where are all my buttons? Yeah, you know, yeah. You could, somebody mentioned you can cheat by stopping a question and then restarting the game. I'll just yeah. go ahead and admit now. That's true. Yeah. That's true. We don't care anymore. Yeah. If you as really... long as you don't get to the jack attack, <laughs> you can restart the whole yeah. game and get a perfect score. Yeah. <laughs> if it brings you joy in <laughs> to do that, then the more power to you. Uh, there we go. Uh, All right, folks in the chat, what do you want to play? Uh, we could play Fibbage. We could play Drawful. We could play. Uh, 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 Lie Swatter. We could play literally any one of these five we, games. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> we could play Simon again. Uh, all right. Well, Joe Boy asks, what happens when you play through all of the sponsors? The no, no. The game is not in. You can, you can continue playing, but it just doesn't open up any new sponsors. Or I think what happens is it sets the... It sets the next level that you can get to at like some ridiculously high number that you could never get to. So, because <laughs> you know you open up sponsors at you know the different money levels. Yeah. And so once you get to sponsor twenty five, it sets the the next level to some ridiculous level that you could never get to. Uh, we might want to lower the game volume. We've been told in the chat. Also, people are requesting we play. Everyone help grandma or space parts. <laughs> <laughs> Have we ever talked about? I think we have mentioned it. Are they about 25 times? <laughs> it's on the blog, too, if you want to learn more. See the origin of that image. Yeah. I think we should play Fibbage, even though everyone's saying Drawful. Because last week, um, last week... I'm escaping the hot box. You guys yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah. And let's maybe leave the door open uh, for the yeah, last... Uh, just leave it open. Why don't we all just leave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just let it play. It's up there, so people will probably already start uh, hopping in. It's all right. They're all going to happen at once. That's yes, exactly. Part. So you guys go ahead and play um, Fibbage and we'll answer, we'll try to answer there we go. any oh. questions we can while you play. <laughs> yeah. uh, did not make Afrophobia. Uh, you mentioned a couple episodes ago about how You Know Jack 6, The Lost Gold, is the gold content from Fifth Dimension. You also mentioned there was also a silver and bronze hey. content. What happened to the silver and bronze questions? I think there. I think I'm your host, Jack Six Cookie, is gold, and this silver, game will and be broadcast bronze. In 112 I think it was. Uh, You'll just be seeing the English version. Okay. Right. Um, well, eight think, players uh, is impressive. However, you know what's more pass. impressive? Right, right. A billion. A but we'll just play with eight. Let's do this game. <laughs> Uh, how are we doing on volume, folks, in the this chat? This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. Find and out you'll just get 1,000 for finding the truth. Uh, magic. Select You're... the category. I like how as soon as you get back, we Okay, here's talking. your first question. <laughs> Gloucestershire, England Don't let me really the figure it out. Olympics, the highlight of which is the uh, traditional blank kicking you, competition. You, you all have about the now length of one game of Fibbage for any final questions for this week. Volume pretty good. If you can't think of this anything has been our most uh, time, uh, technically adept Twitch cast ever. We're going to change it all next Something's going to break. Exactly. I'm sure something. we still have some time for something to break. Uh, if you only watch us live on the Twitch stream, Stream, we port these all to YouTube usually later in the day or the next day so you can watch all the old episodes and see all our various crashes last week's I think was especially fun because like 45 50 minutes in all of Twitch crashed and we thought it was done but it still was recorded so you can hear us just kind of muttering and talking about uh, the fact that we didn't think anyone could see us at that time even though it was being recorded still Build says, volume and stream are working great. Whatever team put together the new setup did an amazing job. <laughs> that was largely him. Yeah, said. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Where will the stream be next week? In the parking lot? <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah, we're going to send Allard across the street to the stream. Uh, what content did you take from the American versions of Udino Jack to do each of the four German PC releases? We never actually ported any of the content to the German versions. 
was uh, created by a company in Germany. Take two. It was Take two was the publisher. Time to pick a category. Like, uh, yeah, no. what they called it. Um, I don't remember. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Really They're nice guys, but they did their own production. Their it's own not writing. hard. You know what? We'll just stick with this one. Okay, uh, will you guys play the you know Jack Johnny tabletop Jack version? We have that, and, and I would love to do that one week. Um, you need to set up Comanche the cameras Comanche in such a way so the camera's looking at it. <laughs> like, as soon as we get this all set up, I'm talking about ways to change now. it. But we'll do that eventually. In the bathroom, please. <laughs> we do have we have a uh, a camera that we can put anywhere. That's true. That uh, we could check in on. Ooh, yeah. Oh, here, in fact, mint uh, in box. Exactly. <laughs> 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 We're taking offers. So we'll Hurry, definitely play this me, one week, um, but not yet. <laughs> oh yeah. I wonder okay, if it, I mean, which one's the it truth? may not even work. There's a save five dollar coupon. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, that was like seventy five dollars. Mm. Off, probably. <laughs> You still get complaints from businesses on the other floors of the building. I think we're more likely to complain. Yeah. Not to anyone, just to ourselves. Exactly. Uh, Toad Boy keeps asking, what room are you guys in? We're in this room. Uh, this, is a very, this is an unused room. Alright, who picked what? Yeah. Little... Turns out we don't need. Yeah. Uh, that perspective fellow says, you... Whoa, everyone's getting... Does everyone know all the answers at this point? I think so. They might. Uh, you all haven't gotten points in a while, so plus two points. So plus plus two points. To anyone who's sitting right, who's sitting right now. So, they're all good points. Even Beatrix plays two points. Uh, Alright, pick a category. New questions needed. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Just several people agree. Okay, here's the question. Yes. It's time for a There's road no trip. Question. When in Lafayette, Louisiana, be sure to check out their somewhat erotic statue of a shirtless blank. Is that everyone just getting lies them all right? It would be kind of uh, spectacular if we had a eight-way tie for first place. Maybe we should give a code out to whoever comes in last place. <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, that is probably the person who needs the oh, yeah, because they have a place to think of anything. Right? So, that's true. I'm, I'm much more in it for the likes uh, than anything else. Uh, Jisman is asking, shirtless Evan? Alright, where's the truth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'm one of the answers. Guys, you do not want to see me shirtless. <laughs> and Fifth Dream today just says, shirtless penis. I actually think it would be more unusual to see a shirt. Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> Oh, you're right. Ah. Nice lie. The people immediately start throwing the game. If somewhat erotic isn't your speed, I've check a few out the pencilless firefighter statue on town over. And that means okay. sure. I've never gotten a carrier pigeon. Yeah, I'd love be, to get one. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Down the street. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> is this pigeon chasing? Now Do you have to make two. eight well, lies for every single question on the off chance of a full game? Everyone Select chooses the category. Life. There are more than eight, actually. Uh, I believe there okay, might be sixteen. When Charlie and the Chocolate of Factory them, because I think a rolled doll died, from, he was buried possibly. with snooker cues, burgundy, So yeah, we have to write, pencils, even though they don't get blank. seen very often, and we wrote a lot of now. our own answers for this game. Is that... I, I often hear the writers talk about, like, that's hard to write for, that's easy to write for, which is always kind of interesting to me, because it all seems hard to write for. But are those... Are the decoys kind of an easy thing that you look forward to doing, or are they a pain in the front? Um, I think they're not that hard to do. I think you don't necessarily look forward to it because it just. Okay, here are your choices. 
I don't know, any long list of anything after a while just becomes a little bit tedious to write, even if they're supposed to be funny. I think we tend to break it up a little bit uh, sessions where groups of people, well, Steve can probably answer this better than I can. In Fibbage, how many, uh, how many writer, like, give me an answer? Are there? Are there there's 16, 16, so there's two. If you needed a suggestion, you could. there would be two options. Yeah. So that, but the okay. main thing that that does is help us decide, are there enough okay, possible okay, answers for the yeah. question? If we have trouble coming up with 16 answers, yeah. then it's probably too hard of a question for you to and come up with answers. Awesome. Yeah. And I would generally, uh, I don't know what the overall arcing editorial Great policy on it was, for myself, I would try to write ones that were funny, but not like so funny that they would always win, basically. That's, that's exactly right. Yep. Which left Tim Burton well done, to roll over yeah. in his grave when <laughs> Tim Burton's Willy Wonka movie came out. And that's it. Or, or sometimes they would just got be picked. so funny that they wouldn't possibly be true, but they would at least be funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the Jizzman asks, so what does Evan do exactly? <laughs> <laughs> this is it, guys. This is it. This yeah. is here all week. Like, going to happen. <laughs> sometimes I sit in other rooms. Time to pick a category. <laughs> Why is everyone getting up on me all of a sudden? I like to imagine that everyone in the company Wait, just slowly works their way into this room. <laughs> yeah. being like, like oh, yeah. I thought he'd work with you. <laughs> Even Beatrix has really worked up about it. What she's she been do? she's been holding it in for years. <laughs> I knew it all along. If only I could speak to humans. <laughs> We have a few stories of yeah. people who work here testing games with their families and someone's son put an incredibly dirty response to a favorite question. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone just kind of pretended it didn't happen, isn't that how it kind of yeah, worked out? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in the room just went silent and pretended nothing ever happened. Yeah. This game will get you does You Don't Know Jack have a director, per se, or is it more of a collaboration and That's Cookie Tom has free reign over his performance? <laughs> um, it does have a director. It's Steve-O. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah but it's mostly a collaboration. I mean, yeah. at this point, it's sort of like a machine that kind of runs itself. Yeah. But... We all sort of have our world. Yeah. Yeah. Things that we yeah. yeah. And with all the audio, it would be difficult for you to direct every oh, yeah. bit of it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So you basically just review it. It was the same with Lyswater. We... Phil, who had to record like a billion things. It's mostly like making sure something's not some of these wrong. Right, right. Lies. It probably had more to do with the 2011 reboot when we sort of rebooted the whole thing yeah. and we were really getting to the des design of stuff then was more. Although, to report really that 2011 was so much based on the web game. Like, yeah, yeah, that would be a lot of that. But yeah, that game was like a, like, the biggest yeah. Okay, we are pretty question. much an autopilot with you don't know Jack at this point. But, so, well, Fibbage is kind of interesting because it's Cookie posting and it's Tom. Did you have to give him direction? Yes. Like, don't read this yes. like you would you don't know Jack? Or... Totally, yeah. We, uh, there was a, it was a different, it's a different tone, so I didn't want it to be too, um, too cookie-y, too, um, too... You don't know Jackie. Too, well, Cookie's uh, got different parts of his personality. Yeah. And it didn't want to get too much of the neurotic cookie into this game, the yeah. sort of uh, quirky cookie. Uh, because this game is more about teeing it up for the players to be funny. So. Uh, you'll be happy to see you've just gotten an award from the chat, Steve-O. Director of the Year, Steve-O. Oh, Dave, from Dave Daver Daverton! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Dave Daverton! You got the, the Dave Daverton! Yeah, you got the coveted Dave Daverton! <laughs> <laughs> He's sending the award via carrier paper. <laughs> Thank you, Dave Daverton. <laughs> I, one of my favorite things about okay, Cookie is like if, if we ever went back and kind of cataloged all of his issues and disorders and problems, you know, like he's... <laughs> they would he's, contradict each other. Right. Oh, yeah. He has an artificial heart, but he also has two hearts, you know? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. In fact, I think I'm almost certain that his dad is both dead and alive. <laughs> he's like Schrodinger's dad. <laughs> At some point, and that means some of these old, didn't no, get old man was Cookie's dad. I thought it was Schmidt's dad. No, because there's a whole like that's at the end of 
the, the ride. It's good. Uh, isn't there's it? An, there's another one. Where, <laughs> I know where Phil is like. Or is it Phil? Maybe I'm wrong. There we go. This is the final footage. One question left for right. marbles. And everything and again, triple. There's so many contradictions if you really get into it, probably. Here's your final we, try we try not to. We try not to. There's no Bible. Let's just say that. There, there is a Bible. There is a Bible, but it's not updated. <laughs> now, there are times when, when when Tom has been like, wait a minute, you know, we write something for him and he'd be like, I'm almost certain that, you know. <laughs> you guys answered my question. So I said, is expansion pack coming to party pack? I think it's gonna run out. Running out. Um, sounds like you're asking if there's an expansion pack. For party pack and there's not one in the works All right, right the now um, our plan is to release new games um, but there is you probably aren't gonna run out of content in the party pack um, Drawful maybe you don't know Jack eventually I mean not Drawful Fibbage but Drawful has a ton of content it would be really hard to get through it all Lyswater has a ridiculous amount of content, content. Um, and we're, we're hoping to get out new games, maybe, you know, some of the games in the party pack are very popular right, and let's see people want more content, picked. we'll do new versions of those games with more content. Right. And, that's and, and just because in a lot of these games, the content is randomized, and then Vivid is in a lot of content. So you might go to a friend's house and see a costume and be like, oh my god, I've already seen this one. And then maybe you actually run out of content. It's just because it got randomized. A cheaper house, option so is to just cut your machine. dog's testicles off. Uh, and we're done. Or what happens on your machine. Right. Not necessarily what happens on your friend's machine. Yeah. Or maybe you're watching it at our house. Uh, or Twitch every week. Yeah. But, yeah. Right. <laughs> Kevin Spacey wins again. Wow. Oh, someone's going on over there. You don't know Jack, 2016, coming in March 2015. So. <laughs> we actually yeah. talked about the, about the naming conundrum. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're not necessarily working on, um, you know, DLC packs for this uh, party pack right now, but if there are games in here that are popular, and we think there are, that you, you probably haven't heard the end of them. Yeah. Leave it at that. Yeah. And basically, you know, if someone asks way early on, like, how well it's selling, it's it's doing really well. We're excited about how well it's doing, but, you know, it could always do better. And the more it's the more it sells, the more likely we're going to be able to do more content for the games that you like. So uh, if you haven't bought it, maybe think about buying it or uh, yeah. talking a friend into it. Just talk a friend who has more money than you into buying it. <laughs> I bet it's really a cheap... All it's really cheap. Of you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> talk your friend into buying a bunch of them. It's for... really... Not to be too addy, but it's really yeah. cheap. I mean, yeah. we, we had... we the, When the 2011 You Don't Know Jack came out, yeah. it had almost as much... Con the, the, the You Don't Know Jack 2015 has almost as much content as that game, yeah. and it started at twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. And this game has that plus four other games that are awesome, yeah. and it's only twenty four ninety nine. So, so I guess that's it for this week. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, as always, follow us on all of these places down here. To, They're gone. Uh, but oh no, I was talking about the ones at the bottom. But uh, oh, um, Ding. oh, oh Walgreens. Walgreens. <laughs> oh, oh no, Steve yeah. Allard, and what? Uh, that one's gone. Yeah. Well, at least Arnie's is right. Yeah, so you can follow me. The, the, we decided it'd be funny to say that Ben's uh, Twitter is Walgreens, <laughs> just to piss Confused him off. <laughs> yeah. Um, next week, it's not 100%, but I believe we're going to have a, another special guest. People were such a big fan when we had Tim from the Second City ETC come in that we're going to have a guest... Uh, a really interesting uh, artist is going to be here next week to play Drawful with us and with you. Uh, so uh, see you guys next week. And as always, uh, last week people stuck around and just asked Andy questions in the chat. Maybe maybe there'll be another after party with Krabby Dad. Uh, so if he's still around, maybe he'll answer your questions. Yeah, we got to get a close-up shot of uh, Beatrix. <laughs> <laughs> Where's her face? Where's, Where's her body? I know. She's a head with four legs. <laughs> <laughs> She's like the sub sprite from uh, Spirited Away. There we go.
Jackbox Games Twitch Stream.